with the big changes in weather, whether it's a fluctuation from hot to cold or vice versa, is really common for your factory filter head to leak. When the weather's heating up, these seals just get weak over time and can wear out and can actually cause your truck to have a crank no start concern or have a stalling concern. It's most likely going to be your filter head leaking. Now, if you don't have a lift pump on your truck, you're not going to visibly see the leak because it's all under vacuum. So you're going to be sucking air into the system, so you're not going to visibly see anything at all. Now, if you have a lift pump, it's going to have positive pressure going right up to this filter head, and you're going to see that leak. The best way to solve this is going to be with your D-Max 359 filter head. It's going to fit your 2001 to 2016 Duramax trucks. It's going to get rid of that heater wire so you have one less spot for it to leak. So today we're going to go ahead and install this D-Max 359 on this 2005 GMC because he's having the crank no start concern. So we're going to go ahead and get that taken care of and keep him on the road. I'm going to start off by removing the air filter. Remove all the bolts from your air intake. This is an aftermarket one, so your stocking will be slightly different. I'm going to go ahead and remove the air intake tube. Don't forget to disconnect the MAP sensor as well. Now you're going to proceed to take off the boost tube. I'm just going to take off the one hose clamp on the top. And then one on the bottom, you're going to slide these boots off of the intercooler and the EGR on it. Now you can go ahead and disconnect the fuel heater. That's going to be the one on the top. And then you're also going to have the whiff sensor connector on the bottom. Now go ahead and take off the hose clamps on the filter head hoses. Make sure to take note of which one goes where uh, when you do place them up so you put them back on the same direction. We like to place them up so they're going to be not leaking any diesel fuel into your engine bay. So just kind of tuck them up out of the way like you see here. Now you're going to go ahead and remove the two bolts holding the actual filter head onto the uh, engine block itself. There's a little bracket there. I'm just going to take off those two bolts. Now you can go ahead and remove the full assembly. We're going to go ahead and start on our new filter head and filter here. I'm going to go ahead and install that O-ring on the top. This is really important to lubricate so it will seal properly. Go ahead and thread that right onto your filter head. And it's going to be hand tight. And also, you're going to go ahead and install your whiff sensor, plug, or drain, whatever you're running on your truck. Then you can go ahead and install this onto your truck now. Just go ahead and get those two bolts to go back into the bracket. Put that filter head back in and tighten those bolts. This D-Max 359 filter head eliminates that fuel heater, so that's one less spot for it to leak. We're going to go ahead and install the fuel hoses now and then go ahead and reconnect the hose clamps. Go ahead and put your boost tube back on and go ahead and reinstall your intake. Now we go ahead and prime this. You're just gonna press the you're gonna press the primer bulb until it's firm. You do that about three times with about one minute in between, and then that should get your truck to start up right away. got this LOI back on the road so he's going to be able to start up every time without any issues. Get your filter head at dmaxstore.com.